Okay, so my name is Manuel Lopez Ibanez. Uh, I'm going to present, maybe you are wondering who are you. And uh, I first contributed to GCC in 2006 when I joined uh, Google, I proposed a Google Summer of Code project. And since then I have done 366 commits to Trunk, which maybe doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, there were a few interesting things learned, like for example, the W conversion option, the idea and the implementation of having an integrated C++, C++ common test suite, because maybe you remember when we used to duplicate all the test, case, test cases. Also, maybe you remember when DG error and DG warning actually did the same thing, so there was no difference, so I worked a bit on that. I also worked in moving G Fortran to use the common diagnosis machinery. Also implemented this lang enable and enable by options in the OPT files. And, uh, some things like the first implementation of the correct line, which David then much vastly improved. And uh, also, the, with, together with Jakub, implementing colors in diagnostics, fighting with some people about having options, the warning options shown in diagnostics by default, and with help with Aldi, from Aldi having the default being showing the column numbers and other things. But this is not actually what I do for a living. I'm a lecturer at the University of Manchester. I work in, the, in business analytics, operations research, mathematical optimization, and things like this. And this has nothing to do with compilers and code optimization. But if you look at GCC, GCC, even for optimization, only has plenty of options that control optimization. And one question that you might ask is, given a source code of an executable, that let's call it the target algorithm, what is the best configuration of these options to, to compile? You can measure how well, how well you are doing by measuring the speed up on different, let's call it, instances. And why, what I mean by instances is random seeds, inputs, different workloads, different machines. This is what I would call instances. So this is actually a mathematical optimization problem. Mathematical, uh, a mathematical optimization problem. So that makes me very happy because uh, I, it's, this is what I do, mathematical optimization. And it's actually a problem with many names in the research literature. So you can find automatic algorithm configuration. In machine learning, they have a similar problem that is called hyperparameter optimization. And there is some general, generalizations that are called programming by optimization. So the general idea is that you have some training instances, as I say, random seeds, uh, different inputs, workloads. You have a parameter space that defines your options, the type of the options, the ranges, and you have some kind of performance metric, the speed up of your algorithm, and you have a configurator that is going to evaluate configurations by, of the parameters by, com in the case of GCC, compiling the input uh, file and then uh, running it on different instances, which is different random seeds or different inputs, and measuring the performance metric. And it's trying to find the best configuration. So we have an algorithm for doing this, for doing this in general. Uh, it's implemented, it's technically it's an implementation of an algorithm called Elitis Iterative Racing. Uh, it's implemented in R, and we try to make it as flexible and easy to use so you can use it for hyperparameter tuning machine learning, but also to tune the algorithm the options of GCC. It's a GPL package, uh, so it's multi-platform. You don't need to know R. If you hate R, you just need to install R, and then you can use it from the command line. And you might be wondering, OK, I have heard this before. There is, I know Acovea is doing something similar. There is also this tagged method, open tuner. There is also all the tools available in C tuning. And they actually have some benefits over iRace, so for example, they are easier to specify your build setup. They have very advanced error handling for the many things that can happen that can go wrong when you're compiling some code. And they have out-of-the-box support for multiple target boards, OK? And a lot of more features that are specific for tuning compilers. The good thing about Iris is that we are using, I would say, a better algorithm. Uh, this algorithm is Elitis Racing, which is one of the benefits that it has is that automatically decides how many instances you need to see to be able to declare that one configuration is better than another. Uh, so this means that it adapts to the variance of the problem. And also, 
the goal there is to generalize over many inputs, over many instances. So you're not trying to optimize the code for a particular for a particular input or for a particular scenario, but you are trying to get the best code that you want that can work over a generalization of the instances. It's also very good at handling different types of parameters. So you can have numerical, categorical, you can also have, like it happens in JCC, some parameters that are conditional on specific values of other parameters. And you can also specify that some combination of parameters should never be tested because it will crash the compiler, or it will blow up the memory, or whatever situation that you don't want to happen. It already has parallel evaluation out of the box, so you can implement, run it in a cluster with many CPUs. This is what we do all the time. And this also has a method, I'm not going to explain exactly what it does, but basically it's trying to say if I have, if my goal is to reduce the computation time of running my algorithm that is being compiled by GCC, uh, I can adaptively cap the time to say if it's running for too long, I kill it because I know it's never going to be better than something else I found before. And we are still working on it. The current version is 3.1, but we are still adding more and more features. And the main result that we got when we applied to GCC is that for some codes that we had of our own, that we were using GCC to compile this code, we were able to obtain 1.40 speed up over O3. Uh, and this for us was surprising because, uh, well, yes, it was a big speed up for us. And, okay, this is all that I have to say. So if you want to try it, uh, many people in research are already using this tool, but if you want to give it a try, and if you want to discuss with me, I will be very much interested in how could you make our life easier or how can we con collaborate and contribute to GCC because there are few things in GCC that make or life very, very hard, and improving them will make life better. Okay, so that was all. Any questions? Yes. Okay. Can it also be configured for size optimization? So, sorry? Can it also perform size optimizations? Yes, because uh, as I said, the main drawback that we have right now is that we don't have all this infrastructure around the compiler that all the other more specific methods have. The main benefit that we have is that we don't have all this infrastructure around the compiler. So you can do basically whatever you can write in a script. You can do it because Iris only needs to communicate with some script written in any programming language and any executable. We have an input and output uh, format and this script is just doing whatever you want. So you can tune what you want with the performance metric that you want. Could this also help to make a better O3? Uh, I think it could, but I think there has been a lot of discussion about this already because uh, in the general case, so this is tuning for a specific uh, input, so let's say a specific uh, source code, but in the general case you want GCC to be robust don't take too much time. So, for example, we know that, or I think we know that there are things that all three could do, but then maybe it will take too much time or it will not work in most of the cases, even though it can work in some of the cases. So, but one thing that can, you can do with Iris is say, okay, my instances are not going to be only one source code and many inputs, but it's going to be all the source code that I want, the whole spec, benchmark or all the spec benchmarks or all the spec benchmarks plus whatever else and uh, just run iris on top of that because uh, the main idea behind iris is to try to generalize over the instances so it's not tuning for a specific instance but then you have to make the instances varied enough heterogeneous enough okay okay thanks very much um